What is going on everyone? It is Moto Miracle and in today's video I'm going to give you five reasons why I ride a motorcycle. So let's go hit the intro and let's go check out this video. Oh man, so good. What's good y'all? If you're new to my channel, I'm just traumatic brain injury survivor with the second chance at life and I want to share my journey to you through my eyes. So today I'm going to give you five reasons why I ride a motorcycle. So basically you'll know why I ride and then also if there's, you know, some reasons that basically you want to talk to your parents, you want to talk to your significant other, you want to talk to someone basically to get the permission to ride. Hopefully these five reasons may help also. It did help me with uh, Miss Miracle some of these, so that's good. Alright, so let's start off with the first thing, which is wind therapy. So wind therapy is a special kind of solace. Um, basically, you know, it's like a, it's a comfort that, basically a, something that comforts you that through a time of um, sadness, a time of depression, basically anything like that. I can't see. So basically, you know, a lot of people actually that um veterans that have um that have PTSD and stuff like that that have gone out to war, you know, fought with their brothers and sisters, you know. But that um that actually the wind therapy is actually one thing that actually is studied show, studies shown that it helps um it helps the veterans with uh and with wind therapy so basically it gives that solace basically it gives you man that sun uh, sunrise i mean that sunset Ooh man so basically what it is is just there it's a time it's a thing where like i said where your comfort and basically when you if you have sad depression you know depressed anything distressed like this is supposed to help you with it and in my mind is like i have ptsd i have uh, I have PTSD, I have stress, I have anxiety, <laughs> I have seizures, <laughs> I have anger. So all those things, honestly, this definitely helps. Um, wind therapy definitely helps. Like once you just get that wind hitting you in the face, uh, like I'm not, I'm not gonna get, like I'm not really sure exact, but all I know is the actual. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus, bumpy road. So yeah, like I said, it, the wind therapy, it just, you know, it's its basically freedom. Like when I was in the hospital, and not in the hospital, when I was home at my parents' house for like for five years, I mean, it, it, like I said, this wasn't my parents' fault, this wasn't anyone's fault, this is just how my brain worked. I was depressed, I was, you know, very, I had PTSD that I didn't even know of and like i was stuck in a cage with basically like i said um so what this uh wind therapy does is it basically it, it makes you feel freedom you know and freedom is one thing that helps with your ptsd and everything especially like i said like veterans so that's basically, I mean, like I said, once I got back on my motorcycle for the first thing, for the first time after my brain surgeries and everything, when I was clear from the doctors, this wind therapy right here, this wind that, that wind that's smacking you in the face right now, it is something where no one can note it, no one can feel besides, like, unless you're a rider. Like I said, that's exactly why dogs stick their head out the window. Exactly, because... Who wants to be in a cage in a prison, want to be on um, in a cage or, you know, when instead you have wind, freedom, and it, like, I'm not going to get, like, into detail with everything. I'm just going to give you these ideas, these little topics, and if you want me to talk more about it, then let me know in the comments below, and I'll do a, co a total different, um, a total different response after this, you know, which each one. So that wind therapy that, ah, uh, you know when you used to be, like, a kid, and, when you would, you know, you're angry from whatever, mom, dad, whatever, you had nowhere to go and like, like what to do. You hopped, at least what I, this is what I did, is I hopped on my bicycle, went full speed as, you know, pulled as much as I can, 
and then found the biggest hill and went downhill and felt that that freedom and that wind is like i said that wind therapy right there like it, it calms you down that's why i've always you know been so with sports and everything it's just the wind that when you're running and when you're on the bike when you're doing something just wind does things even like i said the long distance riders the sprinters it still has wind hitting you in the face so it's still a type of wind therapy you know the second reason that i ride a motorcycle is because of gas mileage so uh, this is like a touchy uh, oh my gosh touchy situation you know um a lot of people are like you know if you're a real biker then you don't worry about the gas mileages you go where you want you don't worry about it blah 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 well <laughs> no that's not me that's not how i am gas mileage is one thing that definitely So yeah, gas mileage is something that definitely, um, the reason I chose my Harley, like I said, instead of me getting another car or getting something, you know, some people, you know, call me cheap, some people call me, some people call me very frugal, but in my mind, the, the best word, the best, um, few words that make sense for me is I budget my money well. I know exactly what I'm doing. So this gas, say gas here, you get to do, instead of me filling up 87 and it's like 35, 40 dollars of gas, instead I have the other reason, so basically like, so that's like 40 dollars to fill up. For the gas, for my bike, it's basically, it's 47 miles a gallon average and it's, I use premium and I have a five gallon tank so if it was bone dry, it could probably hit 10 dollars and that's it and I can get about 200 miles if I am nice on the throttle but a lot of times I like just just ripping that throttle and do not even care so like I said gas mileage is a huge thing because if you are very trying if you're trying to budget your money well then getting a motorcycle is instead of getting forty dollars a fill up which is gonna take like just a little what's well, uh, my my uh, my car is gonna take like 300 miles to you know what I'm saying for to get to the refill so what 200 miles on mine and it's only ten dollars like i mean that's you can't even beat that that's so that's the second reason so the third reason why i ride a motorcycle is because the community so this is a long this thing can take all day this topic but basically riding a motorcycle is the one of the things that i've actually how i actually met friends which helped me after my brain surgeries and stuff like that now you're gonna speed up man so yeah like for the community like especially since i got a harley harley, harley sorry my voice so harley is well known for like there's a bunch of events going on there's the hog members there's always something at the at the dealership that's going on and that's just for harley and then you know there's cycle gear there's all these other companies that do bike nights stuff like that then also it's like like i said that's how i met people down in texas was the motorcycle community you know we wanted to find i just wanted to find people that want guys girls that just wanted to go for a ride and just go and you know no no problems no anything just having fun meeting new people so like i said the community is one reason that i like the um why i chose to why why i ride a motorcycle like i said is well, if your bike goes down there's always going to be someone that will pull over on the side and will help you with something well most of the time not gonna say everyone and then also like i said you meet new friends you meet stuff like that and then like i said there's also you can get you get insurance on your bike if you have if you become a hog member like there's a lot of things that the this motorcycle community will help you know they've helped me with my ptsd too because some of these people that i've ridden with they've they are veterans and they um they've gone through the same they've gone through war they've gone through everything and yeah, so they've helped me with my, like, I, yeah, I go to therapy, yeah, I, you know, I have, do my meditation, but talking to people that really been through the shit, you know, that has been through the shooting, been through the war, seen people get very main and hurt, and they tell me, like, there's ways that you can avoid all these, you know, this PTSD, how to get away from it, you know? 
Like there's certain things of PTSD, like the anger and the stress that I didn't even really know I had until my uh, my buddy was like that. You know, he's a veteran. He was like, no, that's all PTSD. I was like, oh man. So like I said, this community it helps. It helps everyone. You know, like I said, that's why the MC started for the first time. The the booze fighters and oh don't go. And yeah, they they are just veterans that just wanted to. You wanted that brotherhood. Wanted that you know that had some place to talk to had people to lean on when shit hits the fan you know so the fourth reason why i ride a motorcycle is because of travel whether it's riding you know going through groceries whether it's getting you know errand runs whether it's um whether you're trying to you know basically the main reasons what i do is like the travel you know to work to school to what is this guy doing um you know ghost run it doesn't matter when i was in connecticut in the all year 24 you know all year you know winter didn't matter i rode in the snow i rode in the rain i rode in the i i like i rode in the ice 20 degrees 19 degrees i rode and because i would rather ride my bike and have that wind therapy hitting me than being stuck in a cage while i hit traffic and whatever like i said i know it's not legal everywhere but but like lane splitting has saved my life several times and I know Connecticut is, isn't legal and I know Texas isn't. But the thing is people do not watch us on our bikes. People don't see us. So on the bikes, there's several times where it, there's a car on my right, left, in front of me and behind me and the car on the right didn't see me and emerging into my lane. So I have no option besides split in the middle and go. Like I said, no, some people don't like that, but in my mind is don't go. In my mind is like, it helps, you know, lane splitting should be legal. I lane split, you know, when, only when necessary. That guy was, they were talking through the window and the speed limit was 45 and they were just going slow so they can hear each other. Like, let me go through. Then he sped up. He was trying to emerge into my lane. What a douche. All right. Anyways, so like I said, right there, what I had to do. Like, you shouldn't be, if it's speed limit's 45, you should not be going 20 miles an hour so you can talk to your buddy. Pull over on the side somewhere. So then also, like I said, for travel is, if you're, say you're going to the destination, instead of, if you're taking the airplane, then okay, okay, get there. But the thing is, I'm not taking a car because the journey is never as fun in the car. But when you're on a motorcycle, that journey is, the travel to the destination is a journey which you're going to enjoy. And same thing with when you're there. So, you know what I'm saying? So you get to enjoy the whole ride the whole way. So when you're riding though, it's an enjoyable ride. You put some music on, you know. I can talk to uh, uh, Miss Miracle behind me. I got my Lexan, so that's a good way to do it. So like I said, also, you know, when you're traveling, you can find a new route and you find it in a way where like, when you're in a car, you're never looking for a new route. When you're on a bike, I don't put the GPS on. I just go and then when I get lost, I'm like, oh wow, let's let's see what's around here. Then I put the GPS on, like, what do we have over here that I'm gonna like to see, you know? So that's what I do at least, that's me. So that's the fourth reason. So the fifth reason why I ride a motorcycle is because basically riding a motorcycle in my mind is like Zen or it's like mindfulness because you're basically, you're about, Basically, like for mindfulness, it's more about you're not thinking about the future, you're not thinking about the past, you're thinking about the present, right in the moment. Because you can't think about the future, you can't think about the past because you're worrying about car, um, cagers like this that are just merging into your lane, not caring. You gotta be in the zone, you gotta trust your instincts, which that's Zen. Zen is very, it's um, something about instincts instead of your 
it, like yeah what's you have to trust your own instincts instead of what people think or whatever because when you're on a motorcycle it's you and the bike you gotta trust your bike bikes gotta try i know it's not a real horse but in my mind they have soul so so basically in your mind is you have in your mind is when you're when you're when you're riding and you're in the zone with the bike basically like i said you can avoid traffic you can lane split through the middle because you can't lane split if you're thinking about the future you're thinking about your girlfriend that broke up with you you know your your sick dog like you can't think about that while you're riding when you're riding you got to be in that zone you know it's all about the present your present right now so like i said with my ptsd with my anger stress seizures and all that stuff basically the mindfulness has helped me with my anger my ptsd even with my ptsd it's helped me you know the mindfulness helped me with my anger all my problems that i've had i every day i do at least 10 minutes of uh, meditation and then, then i do mindfulness meditation and it helps me Yeah, so, like I said, doing, like, zen, mindfulness, all that, like, not exactly zen, it's more of, like, it's, yeah, I said, it's more mindfulness, but while you ride a motorcycle, that mindfulness, it's when you get that, like I said, you get the wind therapy, you know, and, and then you get the throttle therapy, and, like I said, you're thinking about the, thinking about the moment you're in, like, you, like I said, you, when you ride a motorcycle, like, especially with me, at least, all my PTSD is gone. My seizures are gone. My stress is gone. Everything, everything is gone when I'm on the bike. So, like I said, I've had, I've had many, many brain surgeries and years of anger and nasty, you know, suicide, suicidal thoughts, depression. But whenever I have those thoughts, I start that bike up and I go for a ride, and it's, it's all gone. It's all in the past. All you gotta do is, you know, drop a gear. And you take off. Oh man, that feels good. Went there, baby. All right. So, anyways, this is going to be the end of the video. But if you want to know about any of those five reasons, if you want me to explain a little more, then please comment down below, and I will make a video about that. So, anyways, this is the end of the video. So, if you like this video, please press that like button. If you want to show some love for this channel, then please press that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed. And please press that bell icon if you want future notifications. Until next time, y'all. Ride safe. Spread those positive vibes. Never give up. It's Moto Miracle. And I'm out of here.